it might just look like we've stopped and had a brew at a nice viewing spot but we've stopped for a reason <laughs> so the brakes absolutely stink and they're more or less non-existent so and we're starting to descend again now from where we've just been up and over that one so yeah we're stopping we're having a brew letting them cool down So, we're all packed up, we've just paid up, it was, I did say I'd let you know, uh, obviously we're in high season so I think it was 30 euros a night, which is, it's not too bad with three kids, obviously you've got taxes and that, so yeah, we are moving now, uh, we're moving over, so obviously we're west middle of the Pyrenees, we're now going to cut across, it's trying to actually take me back up to the motorway where there's tolls and cut all the decent bits out so i'm like nah i'm gonna keep making my way bit by bit and every hour or so we're gonna stop just to break it up a little bit but i actually want to cut across the pyrenees as best as possible hopefully the brakes hold up because we've been having a few smelly moments with the brakes i think we've got a sticky caliper or something so fingers crossed that holds up um but yeah i'm sure you'll see plenty of sights today I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so ending, somewhere I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the so it might just look like we've stopped and had a brew at a nice viewing spot but we've stopped for a reason <laughs> so the brakes absolutely stink and they're more or less non-existent so and we're starting to descend again now from where we've just been up and over that one so yeah we're stopping we're having a brew letting them cool down um if I remember rightly it's currently on that EBC pads and I'm sure I've got the right ones nothing too aggressive you know when it's hot they should work better and stuff like that but it really didn't like it. literally the brakes were smoking so I've just pulled over and check this out so this is what the workers do around here you've got an helicopter and he's picking stuff up from the work vehicle which is just parked over there and he's taking it up top of the mountain it's crazy isn't it I mean imagine a job like that Sometimes I know I'll be okay because I found my way antics <laughs> we had to make a bit of an informal decision um, about literally dropping off the mountain side heading back to sort of toll roads a little bit flatter um, so sort of just coming out the Pyrenees slightly <coughs> to head over we're heading back in now by the looks of it but we've stopped we've had a chance to cool down uh, done a bit of shopping just to top up again chance to cool down and touch wood that seemed to be okay but I think it's the braking it's I think it's obviously something to do with the pads that are on there um, it could be the sticky caliper at the back but it's more the, uh, the fronts that are playing up so uh, yeah we've got to think safety first as well haven't we do you know what I mean so uh, yeah we dropped out a little bit 
looks like we're heading back in. But that's that's the least of our worries, all right? So we are apparently going to hit a border, obviously, well, as soon as we cross into Spain. We haven't done any of the COVID palaver stuff, um, so it's going to be very interesting. They might just spin us around and be like, no, you're not allowed in the country. So if that's the case, then we're going to head up into the mountains, try and find a track uh, that will just cross over the border without no hassle. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? We'll have to get some miles under our belt. We've still got at least another two hours before we get to the campsite. Um, but it's two hours of just constant views, do you know what I mean? It is absolute constant. Every new corner there's a new mountain or a new view or something like that. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. So, Alright, let's see how we get on. So as you can see, I was driving through and you notice there's a lot of these places. They're actually hydro power plants. Obviously the water comes down from the top of the mountains creates their electricity and that's absolutely perfect. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're dotted around everywhere. By the looks of it, there's no like border control. It was just a sign, you know, how we get like welcome to Wales or welcome to Scotland. It was exactly the same as that, España. So we were thinking within a couple of miles, it's going to be a border stop and that'll be it. Um, but there wasn't anything. Just went for a little town, expecting another one, and there's been nothing. So we're in Spain and we're cruising. So we've reached camp number five. Um, yeah, it's an absolute stunner. It looks like a beach, but it's not a beach. Uh, it's literally just a massive lake, as you've just seen. Um, so yeah, kayak straight out. And uh, yeah, look at it, absolutely stunning. It stopped raining, it stopped being miserable. The sun has come out, but ah, there's one there. Brought the midges out, it has brought the midges out. So we are uh, middle east. I think just before Andorra and everything so we're gonna we're gonna look we're gonna probably stay here one night see if there's one for tomorrow and then see where else we've got to go and see what's about really because we haven't done anything over this side we haven't planned anything so we'll see what's about and then uh, yeah go from there it looks a nice little campsite to be fair so just lots of bugs around but it's what the rain brings out doesn't it so boat just coming in Proper chill. It is proper chill. Good morning. Good morning. So you can see in the background, we're all packed up. I was up cracker dawn. Um, got a bit like mad last night around my ankles and everything. Absolutely, absolutely killing. Absolutely killing. Itching like mad. So whether it's because I say the water's literally just down there, um, whether it was the rain that brought them out, I don't know. But yeah, we're due. Literally, the forecast is the next couple of days thunderstorms, um, and it's not changing. It is like ninety percent thunderstorms. So we've packed up early. The kids are uh, off doing the pots. They're only chore in the mornings. Got to do the evening pots. So they're off doing that. Like I say, we're due thunderstorms for the next couple of days 
so we're heading over to a little place called Blanis. Uh, it's just on the east side coast of Spain, uh, just above Barcelona. So we've got a friend out there that's got a nice little bar. Uh, really good price as well, like reasonable priced food, stuff like that. Um, and we're literally, the campsite's what you call a block away, literally just around the corner. So, and also there's, pl there's plenty to do for the kids, sort of rides and bits and bobs like that because like i say we're due thunderstorms we don't always want to be sat around the awning on that because it does get boring for them i'm fine with it do you know what i mean but three kids they soon get bored so yeah we're heading over there we're heading out of the pyrenees um what can i say the pyrenees has been absolutely fantastic it really has like i said every corner just has a new landscape and they probably look nothing on camera, but the actual mountains, uh, they're just, like I say, Wales and Scotland on steroids. It's been fantastic, it really has. But yeah, we're due thunderstorms, so we're going to head out of the Pyrenees now, head over to the east side of Spain, um, just above Barcelona, go see my friend's friend, have a couple of beers with him, and um, yeah, see what all that's about. <laughs> As you can see where we set up is in the middle of town but it's right opposite the beach um we got set up literally talk of the camp once again went over the road went to the pool started getting on the beer then we went to pop to see my mate at a jd bar as i call it the, the jack daniels bar take a look at this So currently, just give you an update. It's absolutely chucking it down, hence why the hood is up. <laughs> um, we had a banging night last night. Went to my mate's bar, as you saw. Um, just like a Jack Daniels bar. Absolutely fantastic, had a cracking time. It wasn't very busy, so we had a good chat. Plenty of Jack Daniels. <laughs> um, but yeah, woke up fine. We decided to stay another day at this campsite. It's quite, I say you can see, where we are, obviously see it's right there. Um, and it's thinned out, so the wind's coming right in now. But generally, um, yeah, decided it was absolutely gorgeous this morning. So we was like, oh, let's stay another night. Um, and then this afternoon it's really come in, which I'm like, oh, we shan't pay for another night. Because uh, it is expensive as well. It was like 75 euros a night. Bearing in mind, we're not using electricity as well. So I thought that was quite expensive, but it is what it is. We're literally, this rain's meant to stop a little bit later. Uh, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna go out, same bar, because um, it's really reasonable price. It's like seven euros for a meal. Adults, full on adults meal as well. Um, so we're gonna cheat. I think we've planned our next stop. Uh, did use park for night. Um, and we're probably about six hours away from that. We're gonna start heading back up past Leon um heading back up that way um i found a nice little river spot um and it says apparently there's space for two so fingers crossed by the time we get there the places are not taken so yeah we're gonna cheat tonight go get the last bit of luxury meal that we can get uh because once we start heading back up it's full on back on camp food which you can't complain about some of the camp food's been bang on um but yeah we're just getting showered up there's not much to report, like I said, I just wanted to give you a little update of this is where we are, this is where we're at. It's been beautiful, but it's now pissing it down um, and we're trying to make the most of it. Kids are getting bored. Um, so yeah, as you can see, all the washing is out. We're trying to dry that before we get off as well. So yeah, we'll be uh, packing majority of it up tonight and I want to be leaving here at like 8 a.m. in the morning. 
um, just so we can get up there and f make sure that spot's A-OK. -okay. Because I've heard a lot of different reviews on Park for Night. Some of it's good, some of it isn't. So uh, we'll have to soon find out, won't we? I've, I've, I've tried to pick the most remote spot um, out there. So you've got to cross a little river to actually get to the spot where I'm thinking, yeah, no one's really going to do that, are they? Especially in these camper vans and stuff like that because it's absolutely full of camper vans. So yeah, that's where we're at, guys. Um, like I said, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Uh, it's a bit more of a vlog sort of thing. Um, this is what we're doing. That's what we've been at. Um, so yeah, if you do, if you do like the video, remember stick a thumbs up, give it a share, do all that palaver, and um, yeah, we'll bring you back in a bit. yesterday um, we went out we treated ourselves um, we didn't camp up because we're going to be doing that for the next three days on the way back up so yeah we did that um, just got back had an early night we packed up we've got five and a half hours to travel so we're sort of heading out of Blanis Costa Brava now heading back up north um, we're gonna sort of get to Van Leon somewhere just past that and um, hopefully find a decent spot we are playing it by ear and we're not going to a campsite so we'll have to wait and see what it's like um but yeah just just a little tip for when, when if you're out here is we just went to top up fuel and this is a big difference between obviously the uk government and the spanish government so went to top up it was 60 sort of euros and i took it took it over he gave me 10 euros back and he says, oh, just give us a euro. So I just couldn't get my head around it. So anyway, gave him the euro. I had the 10 euros back. And on the receipt, he says, oh, yeah, yeah, Bonif, Bonif. So not a clue, not a clue what it was. So we've just obviously done some Googling because we've not got any Spanish. Um, and basically the government have, since the Ukraine stuff and everything like that, they basically give all the petrol garages and everybody 20% off discount um, for all families and everything like that just to stop the spiralling costs so I just thought like do you know what I mean that absolutely sums the UK government up doesn't it do you know what I mean you wouldn't you couldn't see them doing anything like that at all and then like I say to even put that discount on the receipt as well say look you've had your discount um, that the government set up do you know what I mean I just think that's great so but anyway, yeah, we're gonna get some miles in and um, yeah, we'll get cracking. should I say so we got in it was very late um, about five minutes before we got here little in was sick as well <laughs> let's quickly pull over sort that out by the time we got here by the time we cooked some food it was just too late for any filming sort of thing but we're about 30 kilometers short of Leon heading back up and uh, yeah I found this spot on park for night 
we found another spot just down the road a little bit um wasn't quite keen on it because you could see houses from the top roads that means if i can see them they can see me um we're gonna have lights on and things like that and i didn't want to do you know what i mean i didn't want to be moved on after a couple of beers and some food i just wanted to chill out after eight hours of driving it was an absolute nightmare um it was only meant to be five and a bit but it turned into eight because it just rode I, that's what i figured out in france if it says five it means six because honestly it is drive wise it's okay uh, i don't know what it is with the time it just seems to you, you'll have loads of free flow traffic and then it'll chuck up then you'll have loads of free flow and it'd be constantly like that and it was just oh i just needed to get my head down a couple of cold ones um, but yeah this is where we was at so you can sort of see down this track there's probably about what a uh, thousand yards of this to come down so you do need either a, you know a decent off-road vehicle to come down it as well so got the old girl dirty which was great um didn't bother getting everything out got the roof tent out that's it so literally everyone's up now i'm just cooking some bacon sausages in a nice baguette so i ain't got to stop again we've already got fuel um yeah we had a nice little fire last night around the rocks which was quite nice because we hadn't had one so far um but yeah it's a nice little spot it's a nice little spot i think park for night abroad is probably different for what it is in the uk i've heard a lot of bad stuff in the uk for it but generally this one the first time i've used it so um you know i can't i, probably, I can only go off the one stop that we've used you can just about hear that we can hear leon airport and must be it's every 20 minutes planes taking off but yeah back on the road today we're gonna do try and do another six hours well i am um that's why i say we're gonna get get some scran on gonna try and get off early and we'll see what the roads are like today but yeah this is a spot that we stopped at lovely and quiet it was lovely and quiet so right food i'll have to bring you back in a bit Good morning folks, good morning. So, different morning. Didn't even bother showing you a campsite last night because uh, to be fair, it was crap. It really was crap. Um, so, <laughs> it was a tiny, it was literally a place just to get your head down. So we just got the roof tent out, a couple of beers. Um, pain in the arse, started cooking for a chicken curry um, and my gas went chicken half cooked and everything so a bit of a disaster uh, we can't get on the Euro tunnel today which we was planning to do um, but a bit of a dilemma on that note as well so we we went to book the Euro tunnel um, yesterday absolutely tri like, it's like tripled in price it's ridiculous there some, must be something going on this weekend uh, so we did that all, all of a sudden the the times for like checking in she leanne says oh oh we've got to be there really early i was like hang on i'm sure you booked like 10 o'clock something like that i said no that ain't right so anyway i had a look at what she'd bloody booked and she'd only gone and booked um literally she booked from england to france not france to england uh, so i was just like oh mate <laughs> So we had to try ring for a refund and they said they can't have a refund until you rebook again so proper dilemma yesterday so i didn't even bother filming anything of the campsite like i say it wasn't worth it and i said we had a bit of a meltdown it was just like oh kids were doing me nut 
um, it was just one of those I wanted to get to bed nice and early get up I mean it's only like half nine now and we're an hour from the campsite so we're cracking on we've got a uh, little beach spot hopefully half decent near Calais uh, long story short we got it booked but it's early tomorrow morning which is Monday morning I wanted to try and get that today if we could but <clears throat> it's one of those things and it's a little bit cheaper if I do it tomorrow as well not a lot like I say it was it was 200 quid to get out here uh, and we've just paid 450 for a one way to get back um, so that's 650 on the old road tunnel and yeah a little bit pissed off with that really but it is what it is like I say so uh, the old girl's a little bit dirty so yeah that was from that woodland stop Got her nice and dirty, so she's done a little bit of off-roading. Not a lot, but um, yeah. So we're on the way. I've got about another hour and a half uh, up towards Calais, and I say the the, the beach stop should I stay? Because we need something for the kids to do because they've had three days with absolutely nothing. They're pulling each other's hair out and the freaking making me grey. So yeah, it's one of those things in it. So right, we'll catch you in a bit. So at this point, what we decided to do on the way back up to Calais, um, we just decided to stop at Dunkirk Beach, and oh my god, it was it was really weird. It was like a bit eerie, but so fantastic just to see a bit of history um, like this. Um, I mean, the kids were really they were just overwhelmed. What we explained what had happened at Dunkirk. Um, yeah, there was just overwhelmed and literally by the graffiti that you can see, everything was still really well intact. Um, obviously, over the years, things had started to crumble away and we had to be a bit careful. But it was just the way you was walking down the beach in the sand dunes, you could have just imagined, not really imagined because you can never imagine what World War Two was like, but generally... It was absolutely epic. I mean, yeah, they wanted me to crawl down that little bit to get inside the bunker, and I thought, uh, nah, I do want to get back to England. So, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, generally, it was an absolute cracking time just to actually see the kids enjoy it and actually see a bit of history in the hand. And we actually brought a brick back from Dunkirk as well. Um, but, yeah, like I say, guys, absolutely fantastic to see. Um, the beaches are lovely as well, absolutely gorgeous. So probably a little trip that we'd probably plan to go back there i think definitely so yeah let's see what campsite we get next good morning so you can see we packed up a bit blurry eyed and we just got up packed everything away we're actually waiting 10 minutes because the main gate doesn't open till 7. So, try and talk quiet and hopefully you can hear me. So yeah, hopefully you can hear me alright. Sorry, battery went. But yeah, we are waiting for the gate to open. So, we're literally down the road from Calais. It's a nice little campsite actually. So, just over the other side of that sand dune there. Um, the beaches. Oh, well, you saw Dunkirk. It's exactly the same. So, you've got the sand dunes lovely soft beaches um so if you wanted a nice beach to get away and you wanted to get out of england you wouldn't expect all right calais is a bit of a shit hole but um i say we're five minutes away from it and we're just down the road and it's the further you get down honestly it's absolutely beautiful it's really weird um but yeah so just giving you a bit of an update i know the video's been a bit vloggy and it's not been full adventures or anything like that but it is what it is like i said it's a bit of family holiday so try to get you as much as much footage as possible um but yeah we're on our way so we've got a not a ferry a euro tunnel at 8 20 this morning so we're just waiting to get out of the gates we're gonna go grab a coffee because i'm out of gas uh we haven't had anything i've literally had water that's what i'm just like oh i'm rationing but i do need a decent coffee so Hooked up.
back in some aspects so we're all sort of like ready for a decent bath <laughs> we do miss a bath De ready for our own bed two weeks is plenty um, unless you, you know you, you might chuck a few hotels in there or something like that but I mean at the end of this video I'm probably gonna do a separate video on sort of like all the pros all the cons of what we've been through um, what I'd suggest if you go into Europe um, what you're gonna need what you're not gonna need etc etc um, so yeah there will be a follow-up video to this um, but yeah yeah it's been a great experience it really has so it's time to get back get the get the gas on the pedal and um, yeah start earning some money again because you spend all your money out in Europe because the tolls Jesus that literally everything was well more expensive than what I thought it would be um, so, but yeah it's one of those things it's a lifetime experience we've enjoyed it the kids will remember it for the rest of their lives hopefully um, we are the last couple of days has just been a bit because we wanted to get on the tunnel yesterday it was a bit bit draggy sort of thing um, but we did make the most of it obviously going to Dunkirk that was fantastic bit of history right there in front of us you could touch the history and just really you know what I mean enjoy it so we settled down last night we actually watched the film Dunkirk as well um, which really put things into aspect um, of what went on there so but yeah um, like I say we'll, we'll do another video after this one um, and yeah it'll just give you a full rundown of what was in the Pyrenees um, heading down to the Pyrenees heading back um, there'll be a lot of b-roll uh, a lot of explanation and everything like that but yeah guys I'm gonna end it here because we're absolutely shattered um, we just want to get home we've got two and a half hours so I say foot's on the floor well not quite but yeah foot's down we have filled up we're gonna get home we're gonna chillax we're gonna get clean and yeah we'll go from there we'll see you on the next one